If two carriers for a Mendelian recessive trait have three children, and one were to ask what are the odds that all three would possess the dominant trait, one would multiply three quarters, the odds that the first child possesses the dominant trait, by three quarters, which is the odds the second child will possess the dominant trait, by three quarters, which is the odds that the third child possesses the dominant trait. So the odds that all three will possess the dominant trait is 27 over 64. If two carriers of a Mendelian recessive trait have three children, and one asks what are the odds that all three would have the recessive trait, one would multiply the odds that the first child would have the recessive trait, which is 1 in 4, times the odds that the second child would have the recessive trait, which is 1 in 4, multiplied by the odds that the third child will possess the recessive trait, which is 1 in 4. So thus, there is a 1 in 64 chance that these two carriers have three children which all possess the recessive trait. Other combinations of children could simply be found by multiplying the appropriate odds for each child. So for example, if one asked what are the odds that the first child has a dominant trait, the second child has the recessive trait, and the third child has the dominant trait, one would multiply three quarters, the odds that the first child has the dominant trait, by one quarter, the odds that the second child has the recessive trait, by three quarters, the odds that the third child possesses the dominant trait. This would give a probability of 9 over 64 as the chance that in a family of three children, the first has the dominant trait, the second has the recessive trait, and the third has the dominant trait.